In this video I'm going to show you how you can turn on developer mode on Discord. You first want to go to user settings which is to the lower left corner. You click on that clock user settings and then you want to scroll down all the way to where you find advanced. In advanced just click on it you will have the option developer mode and you just need to toggle this button right here. You don't need to save the changes. It's all done. You have developer mode on. With developer mode on, you can then access the ID for certain things like the channel ID. If you right click on the channel, then you get the copy ID and you can have the ID of a channel and you can call on this channel directly by the ID. If you do the brackets, for example, these brackets, um, however those are called, and then you do the number sign. If you paste the channel ID, then you will see that it will automatically convert to the channel. Boom, see that, right? So if I do it again, then I'm gonna delete that one. I'm gonna type in the number and then the channel ID. And then I do the last one, the closing bracket thing and it converts to the channel. So you can access the ID for a bunch of things. You have the channel ID, you have the user ID, you also have the message ID. Let's go ahead and call a user first. I'm gonna open and then a at, and then you paste. I'm gonna right click so you can see, right click paste, and that's the user ID. When you close it, you can automatically call in a user by the ID. You can also get a message ID. Um, you right click here, copy ID, and even your server ID. I think you can right click on the server and then copy ID. Um, the last one was role ID, which if I'm not mistaken, you access it by opening the brackets, then and sign, and then the at, and then the role ID. Sorry, the role ID is backwards. Um, let's get a role ID. If we go to server settings, I wanna click on roles and I have the role Carl bot. I'm gonna right click and then click copy ID. I'm going to do, it's totally backwards, I'm sorry. It's the at sign and then the and sign and then the role ID and then the closing one, boom. That's how you can call in um, a role with the ID as well. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends, and stay safe out there.